answer first? Sure. <laughs> that means you have to answer first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. How am I most like you and in what ways are we different? Uh, I think you're most like me with activity. You're fairly hyper, I think. <laughs> Constantly, constantly doing stuff. Uh, I think also constantly reinventing ourselves, doing different things, different professions, etc. Uh, and then just getting things done. I think we're very similar. Not standing for too much nonsense. I can give your brothers a hard time. You've got good work ethics, but how are we different? I don't think I've influenced you in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm not very so good at cooking. you're very different because you just refuse to, to do any cooking. Um, to be fair, I have been cooking lately. I've cooked, I sent you tofu scrambled eggs I made the other morning. <laughs> what is something you've learned from me? <gasps> how to be extra patient. <laughs> Definitely patience. Um, I'm a lot more patient. But you have to be patient mm. and you've got to learn to let go and not take things personally. Extra patient. Yeah. Um, you have been quite a challenge emotionally, yeah. but I've always known that your heart is in the right place, even if you initially blow your top. <laughs> And then it I'm takes sorry. you a few minutes to catch your breath and realize mum was right. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. What's one of your favorite memories as a family? Well, mine is when we went to Bali and I lost my tooth. Yeah. So then I got like a, I put I it under that. a cup mm -hmm. and then I got a peg <laughs> instead of money. Yeah, I remember that. That's funny. When you, when we all go to the museum. Aw, this dies. My favourite memories. I think it would have to be in our old house when you would put on like Elvis or Michael Jackson mm -hmm. and we would all dance yeah. and like run from one side to the other. That was really, really cool. <laughs> really it was nice. just non-stop laughter and then yeah. my turn, my turn, my turn. Yeah. I think, I think some of them were going to Nana and Papa's house and then eventually you guys would come over and we'd have a big dinner or um, we'd be playing with a dog or it was just big family time. And that, yeah. that was probably one of my most memorable moments, all those encompassing. Finish cooking and then I'll be like, Mum, let's play this, whatever it was used to be. I think Connect Four seems to be in the back of my mind, yeah. but Connect Four and then the other one with the faces. The um, faces. Um, guess who? Guess who? Yeah. So yeah, those sort of things probably are the most memorable moments um, for me. Uh, what is the most rewarding part about being a mother? Just seeing you grow up and just seeing the beautiful little boys that you're becoming little adults now, you grow up too fast. Never being alone. Even when you're not with me, I never feel alone because I've always known that I've got four children that I can reach out to. That's it really. Yeah, it's lovely, Mum. Yeah, never being alone. Just the unconditional love I get from my sons is very rewarding. Um, yeah, that love, that continuous love I've had right through, even in the difficult teenage years, is still a lot of love that came from both my sons. That it was yeah. very rewarding. Nice. What do you like when I was a baby? Oh, you're a beautiful teddy. You're a really good boy. You were little and you didn't sleep. Well, you were uh, very energetic. Terribly, terribly energetic. <laughs> <laughs> terribly. Oh, in a nice way. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you were just jolly. You were jolly and you were always smiling, always asking questions, constantly asking questions, running around and just very energetic, yep, and very jovial. Okay. Yeah. What is your favourite thing that we do together? Um, clean the windows. I like cleaning windows with you too. Not so much now, but we used to go a lot to like Queensland and see Nana. Travel. Travel, yeah, yeah travel, and then it took me to movie world, but you wouldn't go on the scary rides with me, <laughs> so Nana had to go with me. But, Probably like now, I think the same thing like going to Morong and just spending quiet time. Yeah. 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 Talk. <laughs> I've yeah, always we do. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you've got 
three daughters and a son and the dynamics of all your, your children are very, very different. But one thing that you and I ha have never had an issue with is being able to have a really honest conversation. True. Yeah. True. What changed for you when you became a mother? My whole life changed, I think. I was um, in awe of having this little human being that was going to be dependent on me for many years to come. And I was very proud to take on that responsibility of being a mum. Having twins, that was a bit of a shock to the system. Mm. So I needed routine, basically slept at the same time, ate at the same time, etc. And also things that also changed, I had to give up my work so I could be a full-time mum to you both, which I loved. But now I'm back at work because you're both older. Mm -hmm. And but yeah, that's pretty much what I guess has changed for me as a mother. But yeah, definitely patience. I still think everything changed. Um, no sleep. Um, I can do so much with no sleep. And yeah. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> If you could give me anything in the world, what would it be and why? I would like to give you the memories of knowing how much you're loved. Why? Because sometimes we don't stop and tell each other how much we love each other. True. So that's the reason I would like you to know. I would like to give you the knowledge that you're very loved. But we don't say it enough in mm. life. We don't tell each other how much we love each other. We just take life for granted. Mm. It's true. We need to say it more often. And why? Because life's too short. And then, you know, when we go, uh, you know, we always say or wish we had said, I love you more often. It's mm. good. What is something you appreciate now that you didn't when you were young? Mm. Yeah, it is your time. I think that when we were younger, we just took it for granted that you were always there. Um, Dad was busy with work, so you would make yourself available to our weekend activities or, or after school and, and all those things, even on sick days, things like that. And if I can compare that to now, as we've grown up, we've all gone slightly separate ways, living in outside of home. So having your time is more valuable now in terms of understanding its value. Uh, whereas before, yeah, that's, I think that's what I appreciate the most at that time. And I appreciate you appreciating my time because I think kids just take their parents' time for granted. Yeah. So that's really nice of you to, to say that. Mm. Um, very good. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>